everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Brogan and I do lots of lifestyle and home content here on my channel. So please subscribe if you're not already. We're currently renovating our kitchen and obviously spending so much time at home, but I'm still making fun videos, so come and subscribe. But if you are not new around here, then you'll know that over the last year, I have been making a couple of videos here and there about my Nintendo Switch Lite. And it's actually been one whole year since I purchased the console. So I thought we'd talk a little bit about it today, how I feel one year on, games I've loved, games I've not loved, games still on my wish list, and also how I feel about potentially upgrading to the bigger Switch. So keep watching if you're interested in all of that. So let's start by talking about the console itself because I went for the Switch Lite and one of the biggest factors when you're new to buying a Switch is whether to go light or go for the bigger version. Not only is it a bigger screen slightly, but the uh, sides come apart and they create a controller and then you can obviously play it through a TV. I originally purchased it with the intention of taking it all on travels with me. So I was traveling a lot in 2019, bought it in January 2020, didn't obviously envision I'd spend all this time at home like we all have obviously. And I didn't envision playing through a TV because Benji has an Xbox in our lounge and he's the one normally playing via the TV, if that makes sense. So I could, just couldn't see how or why I would need to do that. However, since spending so much time at home, there have been moments I would quite like to play it on the TV and in bed. Like we have a TV in our bedroom here. We never, hardly ever watch anything on it. But the other thing as well is that we actually invested in a projector for our lounge last year. So we worked with Ben Q who gave us a projector and then we ended up um, upgrading everything and we bought a screen to um, have the projector on. We got a proper surround system and it's incredible. The setup we have in our lounge is amazing. Like having movie nights are just so great. Since that, <laughs> I have started to feel like how cool would it be if I could play Animal Crossing on a massive screen. But apart from that, I think ultimately I haven't necessarily missed out or felt like I'm missing the experience of playing it via TV. But the one thing that has hindered me a little bit is the fact that I didn't think I'd be making videos about my Switch, but I can't record the screen. You have to use a capture card to be able to screen record and you can only do that on the bigger switch. I could obviously do some gameplay videos because I have made several Animal Crossing videos over the last year and a lot of you that are here on my channel regularly have really enjoyed those those chatty gaming videos because I don't stream on Switch, I don't do live play, I'm not a gamer, um, but I really do love making those videos. I'd say in terms of like, do I have any regrets for buying the light versus the bigger one? No, because I really honestly didn't envision that I'd A, spend so much time at home, um, and B, I would get so much joy and love out of it. I really just thought it'd be something quite casual that I'd pick up here and there as a bit of a hobby. And I guess I couldn't see why I would need to spend so much extra. But in hindsight now, I probably should have just got the bigger version. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. And now I know how much I love it. I may or may not <laughs> get it for my birthday. My I'm gonna have a second birthday in lockdown. So my birthday's 24th of March, okay? So I feel like if I'm not gonna go anywhere or do anything, um, I might treat myself or ask for some birthday money and get the bigger one. So that's where I'm at in terms of how I feel about the light versus the bigger one. Let's talk about games because I think, let's go into my profile and look at my game time. I've got loads of friends um, that are really into their gaming. And if I click on just one of them randomly, they play Fortnite, Zelda, The Witcher 3, Dead by Daylight. Some of my friends play some really cool games and I have really, oh, not struggled, but I've been really trying to find what I like and I've tried a fair few games and some of them actually I've downloaded and not even had the chance to play yet. The one game obviously that's taken up the most of my time is Animal Crossing and I feel like everyone owns Animal Crossing. I think I read that it had five million downloads in the first month of its launch and was the most popular game of 2020. Rightly so, it's amazing. I have clocked 350 hours, um, but I have friends that have done a lot more. In fact, let's look at my friend Victoria because she plays so much. Oh, she's on 635 hours and that's only on one of her, one of her switches. She has both. She has the Switch Lite and the bigger Switch. So she's done twice as much gameplay as me. Bianca is on 545 hours. I really have enjoyed Animal Crossing. I would say 
I would play it every single day in the first lockdown and then I lost a little bit of interest towards the end of the year. Once I had completed everything, paid off my loans, built my island, I found it frustrating to change the layout of it all. I'm not very good at envisioning a really creative beautiful island. I was getting frustrated and I feel like the game either needs an expansion so that you can either make another island and start sort of afresh or you could expand your island with like more features or the ability to just buy some sort of pre-made layout because I'm I feel like I've exhausted it and I don't enjoy sort of going into the game and just doing all my daily tasks anymore it's a nice game for me now it I just don't gravitate towards playing it which is why I've been looking into some other games that are similar to Animal Crossing and I'll go into that in a minute but I would say that is probably my number one favorite game because of the amount of joy and the amount of hours I've played on it the next game that I think I would recommend to everyone, which was one of my favourites, which actually I, it says I played for 15 hours. I completed this so fast, I'm really sad. Um, but it was Super Mario Odyssey. That was definitely number two for me. Really great game. Actually quite hard at times, but like good challenging for me. And you go around different lands and you collect little moons and it's just such... A great game I actually am tempted to sort of restart it and play it all again because it was so good but that would be my number two slot is Super Mario Odyssey my number three slot now anyone that is a proper gamer is gonna be like what on earth is a selection of games I call the tycoon games so these are the tycoon games salad bar pizza bar breakfast bar or whatever it's called food truck you can actually buy these as bundles which is probably better i actually bought them for 90p each on a deal and i bought the breakfast bar first and i have played overcooked and if you know what overcooked is it's essentially where you build like if you're building the burger for the customer you obviously fry the meat you get the bun you get the lettuce you build the meal and then you give it to the customer in the quickest time to get the best tip and complete the orders overtime is stressful and benji and i played it on the xbox and we we really enjoyed it on the xbox and especially through the projector it was great fun but on the switch on my own i <laughs> didn't enjoy it so much so i was kind of looking for a similar game that is like that but just a bit more chill and the tycoon games honestly have been that for me i only discovered them recently but they have provided such joy i probably spent about five hours playing each one and completing it all five three stars on all the levels just really great escapism games i'm kind of sad that they're over so fast so what i've realized is from the experience of those kind of games with the storytelling of Animal Crossing, I'm kind of looking for something in the middle, which we'll go on to in a minute. Other games that I've enjoyed but just haven't played very much yet are Cluedo. That that's quite a good game, you know. It's it's very, very basic, but it's it's actually quite interesting to figure out who did it. But Lego Harry Potter collection, I have not played very much, but I do quite like um the graphics and the story of it. it it's okay mario kart 8 deluxe is brilliant but i played so much mario kart on the wii i enjoy it on my switch i just don't gravitate towards playing it as much games that i didn't enjoy playing so much uh the first one was two point hospital i honestly i don't know if the timing just wasn't there for me but i bought this on a deal do you know what I, I put off buying it for a while and then so many people said i'd enjoy playing it it's kind of like the sims in the sense that you build a hospital and you build rooms and then you have patients and staff and you have to keep on top of the hospital and there's like cleaning staff and you and there's a lot going on my brain struggles to enjoy being absorbed in it i find it quite stressful like there's so much going on in it i don't enjoy playing it similarly i did not like and everyone still to this day keeps messaging me like you should try it you should try it i tried it i hated it star do valley hated it firstly i just don't love the graphics of the game itself it kind of reminds me of habbo hotel like i used to play on my computer very throwback if you sort of enjoy that and it's very simple game but i just don't i just don't like it i don't like i don't understand the storytelling of it however i've realized i really love farming games and i like games where i have to sort of build something or do do tasks which is why the tycoon games came in great so 
let me talk to you about my witch my witch list my wish list next i need to go into the e-store to talk about the games i've got on there um and what i might start playing next i still have luigi's mansion on there but it's 50 pound and i don't like anything scary spooky or horror so i that that's the only i know it won't be scary because it's mario but i don't know i think i'll like the concept of the game i just don't know if i'll love like the aesthetic of the game <laughs> if that makes sense there are a couple of games called farmers <laughs> farmers dynasty and professional farmer the professional farmer looks um like too much like too realistic if that makes sense farmer's dynasty looks a little bit more uh relaxed but still very realistic and then i saw someone talk about my time at porsche which is a bit cheaper and looks a little bit more like the graphics of animal crossing there's also a game called story of seasons friends of mineral town which again looks very similar to my time at porsche so i think i'll end up going for one of those two since recording this video i have discovered the worlds of both harvest moon and story of seasons i never played either game but i know harvest moon was massive on the old nintendos but story of seasons have got a new one coming called pioneers of olive town in fact harvest moon do too i think there was some rivalry and some rights were sold but they are two separate games and things now and the story of seasons appealed to me a bit more i don't know the trailer just looked more like my kind of thing i like how it visually is looking i like this whole harvest farming element this is definitely my kind of thing look at that i love this this is looking a lot easier to like build and move things and i really like like crop growing and feeding the animals although i don't know why the cows are so big but <laughs> there we go and you can actually go into the town and visit other people and build relationships and all sorts of things so yeah you can still like donate to the museum and I think you can go shopping and it just looks like the kind of thing I would enjoy very casual easy to get lost in so let me know what you think of this because I think this might be for me I like this and there was another game that was recommended highly for me called um new super lucky's tale there's actually a demo of this it kind of reminds me a little bit of mario it's an adventure game where you go around find things build things collect things I guess similar to Mario Kart, Super Mario Odyssey. I keep wanting to call it Mario Kart. And then I just wanted to touch on a few games that I know I can't play on the lights that I think I would enjoy on the bigger Switch. First of all, Just Dance and also similarly Ring Fit. Both of them, obviously, you need the controller ends of the console, but getting up, moving around, I just feel like that could be quite fun um, if you can incorporate gaming and a bit of exercise. I think that could be good for me. And also Super Mario Party, I believe, is better played um, on the TV with the console. So they're the games I feel like I would enjoy but haven't been able to play because I've got the light. Games also, before I go, that I have downloaded but haven't played yet is Crash Team Racing, like Crash Bandicoot games. And also um, I've got Spyro spyro trilogy i never was into spyro as a kid so it would be a totally first new experience for me but i think that might be something i quite enjoy but overall that's all my games if you have any recommendations that i have not mentioned in this video let me know what you've been enjoying and playing let me know if you enjoyed this video and hopefully in march when it's my birthday, I'll get a bigger switch and we can do more Animal Crossing videos where I can actually record it properly rather than filming the screen of this one. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.